Hello everybody, Flick here. Welcome to Dark Souls Remarketed. On a whim, I have decided to replay through all the Dark Souls games, starting with Dark Souls Remastered, then going to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, and then Dark Souls 3. Recorded live, but I'm locally recording so the bitrate won't be truly terrible. Uh, okay, if you have to use the D-pad, you can't use the analog stick for this. Remastered, obviously. The rules are, I have a rough idea in mind for a build for this, and a choice of two for three. That, that does make sense, right? Dark Souls 2, not fully decided yet, because I played Dark Souls 2 so much, I pretty much did every major archetype. But the rules are, play them through, optional stuff will be exactly that. I'll do them if I feel like it. And, or if I get peer pressured, I guess. I would like it to stay there. I'm playing offline. Pardon me, so there's not going to be any co or invasions. If I feel like I want to summon an NPC to help me, I will. And the build I had in mind for Dark Souls 1 is one that I've never done. Because I haven't really played Dark Souls 1 very much. I played it through, including the DLC in its entirety in 2016 for the first time. I had played it previously, but I never did the whole thing. Or the DLC. And thank you for Don Tumbray for the bits and saying hi YouTube and also hello shells. Hmm. Thank you, Regent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, we just wasted so much time, like, customising soldiers in XCOM. Do you really want me to sit and customise a person who's just going to look like beef jerky for the whole playthrough anyway? Enter your character's name. My character's name is going to be DS1 Flick. Can you tell what naming convention I'm going with? Six. Male. Glass. Um. Hmm. The build I had in mind... This is, this is too many bits, I'm trying to do an intro chat. But thank you, Hawks, Regent, Wave Racer. Ooh. I want to do the Great Scythe build, which I believe is like a tacky build for PvP, but it doesn't matter. Also, thank you for reminding me I didn't increase the volume of those donation sounds. But thank you, Rox. My soul is remastered. So that means I want to start as a Dex class, right? So I probably want to start as a Wanderer. So let's do that. Gift, yo. I'm, I will go through the front door of Blight Town, but I want the Master Key just in case I have the option. Average is fine. Can I just, like, randomize? Oh no, this is race. Hmm. <laughs> it's terrible. Hmm. Thank you, Green, as well. Ooh. You're filling my bin with, with doggo faces. Ponytail? Oh, that is a ponytail. Okay, sure. Color. Bye, Alana. Thank you again. Hope you feel better as well. How do I customize, like, if I wanted to? Oh, yeah, here's where you do it. Random. One, two, three, four, five. Too normal. One, two, three, four, five. Too normal. One, two, three, four. Yes. He looks like someone, but I can't pinpoint the name. Yes, we're going with that. Yes. How do I save this? Okay. We're going with that. Except. Yes. Do you want me to let the intro play? The intro to Dark Souls 1 is pretty good. I like the music during the bit the where ages, they're doing the war. The world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags. It's all remastered, chat. Large trees and everlasting dragons. Respect the content. Oh, that's the other thing. I know I'm going to talk over this narrator now, but I want people to keep like a silent tally. How many random people not familiar with me on my stream come in, ask if it's my first Dark Souls, criticize the build I'm going with, or give advice not asked for. Across all the Dark Souls games, not just one. Because I think there's going to happen a lot. Just keep a silent tally. Don't even draw attention to it. Just keep a silent tally. And I know you can get the Great Scythe super early, but I'm going to wait because I don't have the stats to use it right from the start anyway. And found the souls of lords Dark Souls players would never do that. They're the best community. <laughs> That's Nito. Nito, the first of the day. Yeah, just you can vocalize the tally, just don't say what the tally is of. The Witch of Isolith. Also, keep me right about 40 minute episodes again. 
Although we saw how well that went with XCOM. Like a year and a half ago. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Nito is a bush with skulls. Correct. What are you counting? I don't want to reveal it again now. It's too late. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. Last time I did this, you the got Dark Souls and you raged at it. I mean, there's hard bits of this game for sure, but compared to Dark Souls 3, it's not as bad. I've got like five different Dark Souls 2 playthroughs already. It's just because I love playing the damn thing so much and it's just easily pick upable. Yes. You can tell indeed. that the textures have been upscaled. The dark sign brands the As much as I'm about to make fun of this as we play through the so-called remastered, you can at least tell the upscaled the textures. And in this land the undead are corralled and led to the north. The fire looks more fiery. The hollows look more hollowy. Where they are locked away. The snozberries taste more snozberry. Of the world. Oh look, it's us. This is your fate. And we're not going to even see that pretty face ever because I'm just going to look like beef jerky for the whole thing. Actually, since I'm playing offline, I, I can just walk around with humanity on, I suppose. But in this one, it doesn't affect your maximum HP, does it? Beef jerky. It looked like Palpatine. Also, how is the volume? What is a snozberry? If you have to ask, you don't need to know. Oh yeah, being human does. No, wait, no, it's not being human that affects drop chances in this one. It's having humanity on you, which is not the same thing, right? All right, remember the buttons. B is roll, and then you can punch, and then harder punch. Okay. I'm playing many different controller games right now, so I'm sure adding another one on will not make any problem for me at all. Sorry, I'm just using his target practice, really. Thing is the California raisins. What is run in this game? It's hold down the dodge button. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. It's coming back to me. That was the quote everyone was. Yes, I know. I think I hear children screaming outside. In Kindle, achievement unlocked. 
The same animation for opening the door they've been using for 10 years. Actually, I don't remember if it was in Demon's Souls. Nope, there was nothing bad back there at all. Nothing to be alarmed about. No, I'm using a broken sword. There. Although we're about to get a real weapon in a second. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do the equipment in this. So we have a shield, we have a shield. Block is. No, that's parry, that's block. Oh, you're lucky I'm stopping to equip a real weapon. Real damage! Hooray! Why does it look like I've got a pig's nose? I'm currently not human, I'm a hollow, which is what you become if you die as a human. Oh, there's poor, uh, what's his name that was meant to have plot attached to him? Oscar? Oscar. You. So is the in-game volume. No, Hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Sure thing, buddy. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. Hmm, that's good Estus. Oh, and this. Undead Asylum F2 East Key. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Why? Because you were a little bitch. I need to learn the parry window. That was way too fast. Alright. Goodbye, Frog Lair. See you on Tuesday. I feel like that's better resolution. I know that's where we're going after this. reason going to the right of this fog wall at this point. Oh, that was slow. Oh. I would argue. Oh, that's right, you can't move while West is singing this one. Hmm, that's probably not as good as what I'm using. Oh, that's right, you can't even come here yet. Oscar was a sweet boy. He dies in the way. I put him out of his misery.
Got a little greedy, but I still got him. <laughs> you defeated. Actually, there's no point resting because we can just rest at Firelink. <laughs> Booty full. Well done, chat. What is the stomping I'm hearing? Oh, it's the other one below, isn't it? Okay. I don't remember if there's an item down here yet or if it's only there when you return. I think it's only when you return. The camera turning seems a bit more sensitive than I remember it being. Yeah, must be when you come back. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. That's a big bird. But not the big bird, it's a different bird. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Oh yeah, you can see him in the or through the bars when you're coming out of the prison cell, yeah. Lord Ren. Lord Ren. Is that an overly clever name for the area of this game set? Like the Lord running away and playing, you know, Gwyn is too much of a coward to do the thing. The Lord ran away, like they do in Dark Souls 3. God, they've got weird taxes in Lord Ren. Big pecking bird. Level up and kindle at barn fires. But I'm not human after killing my boss, no. Chat, could you look up and remind me the stats required to use the Great Scythe? It's, uh, it needs a little bit of strength as well as dex, I believe. Just while I go talk to NPCs. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. You wouldn't know the English that much, but Miyazaki is obsessed with like well, British things, I thought. First, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better. It's fourteen fourteen. Oh, it's equal? Bugger. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other 14, 14. is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land? How does he know this? Because he's here on that quest as well, but he's given up. He's crestfallen. I don't remember if he says anything else of interest. Ah, your face. Oh yeah, he's making fun of us for looking like beef jerky. I don't know. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, when we get to Dark Souls 3, I want to go after the one ending I never did, which was the, the dark marriage one or whatever. Mm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Kill a boss or use a many. Bit, bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> it's also a sin. So fourteen, fourteen. And I start with the... Uh, I start with the fourteen. So you just need the strength, but that's four behind. I don't want to leave other levels. Endurance is just a quick load in this one, right? Yeah. That's a good enough start. Now, who else is here from the start of the game? I don't want to use the humanity yet, because I think I'm still just going to go into the graveyard and grab some items, and there's a very high chance of dying. No, that's the guy you have to free. The sorcerer goes there. And then the pyromancer would be up here. And the... Oh, no, the priest guy is here. 
One of the priest guys. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? Thoroughland. I prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Well, he has seen my face, so that's understandable. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. Yes, but yes, I also did. want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh, thanks. A copper coin. That's really generous of you. He deserves. Also, I hear that bloody pigeon outside. So those aren't active right now. So I think I can drop under them. I'm just trying to remember where all the little hidey holes are for things. Because I've not got any souls to worry about. Well, 176, but that's nothing. Is this a death drop or is there a hole where you drop down? I I can't remember. That's how you get down there, right? And not still, we're right here. Maybe not, maybe. Oh yeah, it is. Six homeward bones. And three cracked red eye orbs. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, four. That's what happened, so I was wrong twice. And I think you need to use a homeward bone if you want to get out of here safely. But we're going down to the graveyard anyway, so that's not going to matter. Skellingtons! Just passing through. Don't mind me. You all suck. I hate you. Oh, we missed an item. I'll go back for that once they lose aggro. I see bird butt. Is that meant to be that close? I seem to remember it being further up. Where's this Y-Hander? I just got it. It's in the graveyard. Like a cheese build. Well, you know, there's plenty of cheese builds, but getting this Y-Hander just by running in and grabbing it early and getting the stats for it is a quick way to do it. I'm just curious what the stats are for this. 13 strength, 15 dex. It is stronger. I could use that spear until I get the scythe. I would need to up. Oops. Remembering the buttons is part of the fun. And then forgetting them when you play different Dark Souls is also part of the fun. 13, 15. Because I need 14 strength anyway, so I might as well say 14, 15. The bird does eventually change location and go up to his nest. I just I didn't realise he was that close at the start. Alright, so there's an item over there and an item over there. Large still isn't that useful. Hello, my skeleton chums. Please go away. I don't remember if there's anything above the... Oh, there totally is. Never mind. How do you jump in this game again? Oh, yeah, you tapped the wrong button. Okay. I hear them after me. The bony people. Alright, that's me collected all the items I remember. Let's actually move on. Did they mix up the gear? No. Everything is in the same place it always was. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Oh, it's always so delayed. I forget that this game is so much slower compared to the other Dark Souls. Ow. Oh, 
And then have at thee. I was gonna do a plunging attack, but I think fall damage in this one is very severe. I don't quite remember. <laughs> the armor I'm wearing looks more grey. That I do not know. It could also be just that I've upped the brightness a little bit to compensate for when YouTube auto darkens. But now you can kind of see the... There isn't just grey there, there is other colours. It might just be the bitrate doing it as well. You hear the rats crawling in the dark. Oh, you didn't die, yeah? It was always very grey. Undead Berg. Hmm. That one's questionable. I was like, why is there a fog wall there? I definitely can't be getting invaded, but it's just like, there is a fog wall there. <laughs> Thank you, Ishavriel, I think, for four months in a row of Twitch Prime. I apologize if I butchered that. Oh. It's so delayed. I mean, I even have time to roll away afterwards. God damn. <laughs> The first half of this game I remember pretty well, but the latter half I've only done once. No co-op, no. Co-op takes too long anyway, because you've got to do everything three times. This is more like just a quick, well not a quick revisit, but a normal length revisit. <clears throat> Alright, time to get used to the dodgy jumping. That is possible, right? I remember this being possible. Maybe I'm wrong? Didn't jump that time. Do I want the answer? Yes. I wish to be reminded of this as possible. It feels like I'm being sucked down. It isn't possible? Huh. Alright then. Do you like dragons? That dragon looked better. Remember, I don't have a long sword. Thank you, Lieutenant Surge. For 23 months in a row, no message, but that's okay. Thank you for the support. Must you? It doesn't matter if I use these Estus because we're only getting five when I light this bonfire anyway. Is that arrow right in my... I think it was. It was in my mouth. Wait, is this one of the ones where you rest at the bonfire? Otherwise it doesn't make it your spawn point. It is. Ah, it should still be okay. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I forgot about the quick way to get the katana. That might be better. Well, no, the spear might be interesting because I always go for the katana if I'm doing a dex build. Weeb it up. I mean, I can weeb it up if you want. I'll just keep in mind, eventually I will be uh, changing out of it. A 
Hello, merchant. I apologize, but you're just gonna have to die. You've gone mad, have you? I'll teach you, you lousy rat. Yulia! Why me? Sorry. Yulia. Did he always drop dried fingers? I don't seem to remember that. Hmm. I'm not thinking of doinking someone, am I? Well, you know, they were in my way. Less scaling, more bleed. I need one more strength to use it. I can do that at the bonfire. Dried Fingers is the one that lets you co-op with more people, but also get invaded by more people. Assuming it's the same as it was in Dark Souls 3. Or is in Dark Souls 3. I'm saying that like Dark Souls 3 came first when it obviously didn't. You're a trap. There's there's one behind me or something, isn't there? Maybe not. I'm not always going to be so methodical in like clearing every area, but early on, I don't mind exploring rather than just like mainlining the bosses. Oh, that's how you get across there, isn't it? You jump from here. I don't really remember what's over here. Oh, crossbow. Also, I missed an item over there. So I need to get to that ladder. Oh, wait, no, I think you get to that ladder from the next area. Uh, drop down. After I do what must be done. So rest, get the other level of strength I require, can use a katana for a little bit, and then at some point I'll do a death run into the the depths, not the depths, what's it called, catacombs, to try and find the katana. I know vaguely where it is, but only vaguely. Oh no, we still need one more level of strength after this, well bugger. 700 souls, that's not that many hollows I need to kill, I think I'll just do it. Well, no, I could break some souls open. Although, I've started doing this, so I'll finish. Hey, Titanic Shard, that's not bad. So slow! They always decide to do the spammy attack. Why didn't your guard break that time? I also flipped his body into the abyss. I know they did it, they changed so you can use multiple at once. What, I need like three more? No, one too many, that's fine. It's going to be quite a death run. You can't tell if you're saying that in a sarcastic way or, or not. Crappy durability, worse weight. Should still be more damage, though. In theory. I can tell you for sure there's about to be a few deaths in a row, because I'm going to have to teach myself the parry window for the Silver Knights again, because I want to kill it. And I ain't going to do it first try. Oh, I have one humanity on me. Where did I get the... Oh, for killing the shopkeeper. I'm just debating whether or not I want to kindle this bonfire. I don't really want to. more damage. Also, how are we doing on time? Time recorded, I mean, I know what time it is for me. I did say Silver Knight, is it not Silver Knight? That's, not, that's what they were called. Black Knight? Oh, whatever. Their armor is entirely silver. 
Oh, the Black Knight ones are the ones that don't respawn. I have the nerds. Dark Souls nerds. Hello, my friend. This is the... Pine Resin? Nope, black fire bombs. Never mind, my bad. I hear one of them running around up there. Did Valinor go away? Do I not have my time check? What am I supposed to do? Don't climb this ladder. Don't, don't, don't do it. Although you'll, you'll be invincible for most of it, right? Yeah. Alright, I know the other one climbed the ladder, but you can totally do it. That's very annoying. Goodbye. Oh, he came down. I think Valinor went. We've got to be close to 40 minutes, right? If not over. I mean, I'll go die to the Black Knight. Because he is going to kill me at least once. Probably more. Until I relearn his parry window. And then we can call that first episode there. I shouldn't lose the souls as long as I don't die on the way back to them anyway. This is where the Pine Resin is, right? I know it's here somewhere. Yeah, okay, there it is. Although I may not use it first try on the boss until I relearn it a little bit. Hello, BD. Alright, so one knight got triggered. That's annoying. I'm going to have to kill him before I drop down. Yes, hello, my spear-wielding chum. I don't want to go too far forward in case it triggers another one. I don't know what dash dance is, so let's say no. They're staring at me. I worry that they're going to trigger if I drop down here. And I need my... Oh, I'll kill them. I need the room to back off from the Silver Knight. That's right, I said silver. Is there a man in this tower? Hello, man. One at a time, please. And not on the stairs, because I can't parry on the stairs since it doesn't work. Unless they fix that, which I'm going to say they haven't. Oh, got a longsword. Alright, now the true pain begins. Because it isn't just a case of getting one parry. I'm going to have to get like four to kill him. Oh wait, it starts with one if you sneak up enough. I never get this right though. But they become such bitches once you get to Anor Londo, but this early on it's kind of intimidating. Yeah, I've it too late. Two. Oh, that was his fast one. Okay, that's, that's fine. Mm, that's debatable, that one. Fifteen! <laughs> okay, don't, don't try and hit them. Wow! A titanite chunk? I'm not going to use that for like 10 hours. I don't remember what that does. Ah, yep, sure. Oh, 
Hey, congratulations, Regent. That's very impressive. Is there another shortcut I can open, or is that just it until the Taurus? You know, the Taurus is just up that tower, isn't he? Um... I'll go level up, because I do want to do a break here, because I'm pretty sure we're past episode length time that I was aiming for. We killed the hard enemy. So sure, we can quickly go back. I'll try and clear quicker on the, the way back again. I see they haven't fixed the ragdolls on the bodies, and I'm not saying that as a negative in any way, shape, or form. That's a five minute warning? That's okay. So we have the... it was 14-14, so that's okay for now. Wait, I accidentally leveled a tumor at one point. Whoops. Alright, for the people watching after the fact on YouTube, we're doing a quick break here because I don't want episodes to be too long. See you next time. Stop for now.